Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Adrian, and if you're not, welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be recording a what's on my iPhone. I normally do this yearly, every once in a while, I do a little one, two, a little three, four. But I decided to start doing it like every season and stuff like that, so I can get like a refresh on my phone. Because keeping a wallpaper for seven to eight months is just not cutting it to me anymore. It's, it's just not, I'm tired of seeing the same pictures. So let's get started. I'm gonna have my phone of like what's going on right here for y'all, so y'all can be watching, we can clock together. Let's get started. So let me share my screen. Okay, so right here, my lock screen just popped up. It's a picture of me. I used to have pictures of like the beaches or like a sunset, and stuff like that. But I realized that's just not cutesy. Y'all gotta know who phone it is. It's mine. So picture of me. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually this hairstyle as we speak. My girl Tan, she cleared. She always does her biggest ones, you know. But I'm gonna miss her because she moved. But it's okay. Now we're gonna start on my home screen. So it's kind of Christmassy, you know, bringing in that little era that I needed to bring in while still giving Adri, you know, not doing too much. Not giving too much Christmas colors. So my wallpaper is actually a Christmas tree, but it's kind of like blurred. I saw it on Pinterest. If you guys want the link to it or anything, just let me know down below and I'll give y'all the little deets. The little deets we gotta know. And on the top left, it says to the season, you know, winter era, Christmas defied, you know, kitsy, kitsy, kitsy. And a picture of me on the right hand side. I literally love this picture. I don't know what it is, but this hairstyle and those car pictures just did something for me. So now you're going to see them pictures all over my phone. Trust and believe that. So, yeah. And it's so cutesy. And this is actually the app MD Widget, if you guys were wondering how I did this. And then in the middle, I have like a little panel. And in the panel, it has a calendar. If you know me, I'm always busy. I always have something going on. And if you expect me to remember all of this stuff now, you lost your mind. I used to be able to remember everything until I realized I'm doing a lot and that's not happening anymore. Like putting Vlogmas, it's on my calendar. Um, club meetings, on my calendar. Anything, on my calendar. But yeah, so then on the bottom of this like little console panel right there, I have YouTube. Y'all know what YouTube is. I don't even think I really gotta, you know, I literally watch about everything on here. You know, paternity court. Ooh, that, that'd be some drama. What? Y'all, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm messy a little bit. I like that drama. So I'm like, no, she didn't. She was playing with him this whole time and didn't tell her that it was a child. And just, Yeah, I watch that. I watch Bad Mondo. Ooh, I love watching hair people, even though I'm not going to dye my hair. Oh, and I like, like watching like lifestyle people, too. My YouTube is kind of all over the place, not going to lie. But y'all should subscribe to me if you, if you haven't already, you know. This is like time. Yeah. Next, we have YouTube Studio. I'm not gonna open that, but it's basically how to track like the stuff you post on YouTube, so you can track the view count, the watch hours. Next, we have settings. Also, not gonna open that because my email is gonna pop up, and that's a little federal, if you know. But y'all know what settings looks like, so I don't really have to open it. Then we have my calendar. Also, not gonna open that because y'all don't even know where I be 24/7. What? But yeah. It keeps me up to track, like I'm not gonna lie. I have it up here and it actually shows me and then here if I need to open it to get a rough draft of what's really tea. Maps. Y'all know, my girl be lost. <laughs> One thing about me, when I'm in that car, I go ahead and hit, click my phone to that car play and hit that maps. I do not know where I'm going. I never know where I'm going. If I don't go there about three to four times, baby, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> But yeah, next we have Notions. Oh my gosh, this is my holy girl right here. This is, I'm not gonna scroll down, but this is my content pl planner for Vlogmas. It literally has like what I'm recording, when the video comes out, when I'm gonna record it, how the thumbnail's supposed to look, a, a rough, a run down of like, what's gonna happen to be like a, a to-do list so I can stay on date, have the video long enough. Literally everything in here, but we're not gonna scroll down because that's giving, y'all gonna get all the vlogs you do before they actually come out, what? But then next we have mail. I don't even wanna talk about why there's 21,000 of, I don't, even, I don't think it's gonna click out. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what's, why I have so much emails. Then we have camera, ooh, period, boo. Yeah, I love my camera. I'm a camera girly at heart. Then we have Safari. Y'all already know what that is. Some people use Google Chrome instead of Safari. I use Google Chrome on my computer, but I use Safari on my phone. I don't really know. Then I have phone. Y'all know. Y'all be calling y'all little friends. We, we not try to hit the FaceTime. We try to hit a little one, two second. Hello, how are you? Da, 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 da. Or we got to make them appointments. Whatever you got to do. Y'all know what the call do. 
messages. Not gonna open that either. It's a little federal, like I said. But like, text a couple people, your friends, your family, everybody gotta do. These right here, these three apps right here, are the apps I use religiously, so that's why they're on the bottom. Then on the next screen, it says the future is yours to create because that is real. The future is in your hands. If you want your future to be good, you gotta do what you gotta do. Set the goals, set your priorities, do what you gotta do to get that junk done. Do what you wanna do and don't lock in. That's why your future looks like that. Respectfully, respectfully. Okay, so then we have the pictures of me again. But it's in like this cute little Polaroid pictures, really cute. So now we're moving on to the editing portion. Before I actually get into the editing portion, how you guys see like the tints on all my apps, and when you hold down your phone, the home screen or whatever, you click edit, you click customize, and you click tinted, and then you change the color to match the, the aesthetic of your phone. So you don't actually have to use shortcuts anymore. OGs know when you have to use shortcut and then take a picture of an icon and then change it to the app. That was a lot of work. But now, you don't have to do all that. So first we're gonna move on to editing. So first we have Fonto. This is kind of like my favorite app, not gonna lie. Like after I make my thumbnail, like I actually have the basic, like the different photos in different areas, I go in here to add the text on top of it to make it real cute, see the gradients, the effects, all that. Then we have Canon Connect, or well, it's called Camera Connect, but Canon Connect is how I transfer the footage from my camera. Then we have YouTube Tracker. I kind of use this, I don't really know how to explain it, but you can like track different things and like gives you like little insight. To be honest, use YouTube Studio. But it's a cute little app to have, you know. Then CapCut, y'all know we edit on this app. This is your holy girl app, CapCut. This is what I edit my YouTube videos on. This is what I edit like. TikTok shorts on, well, TikTok little videos, YouTube shorts, all that. Cap cut. If you don't know how to edit, cap cut. If you're trying to learn how to edit, cap cut. Cause you can like progress so much in this one app because it's you can use the basic version of it or you can start getting advanced with this software. Then we have Dazcam. Ooh, I love me Dazcam. One of my friends put me onto this. You know who you are, but we're not gonna say no names, but you know who you are. And Dazcam is basically where you take a picture of yourself I don't know if I can do it. Mm, is it gonna work? Mm. Whatever, we're gonna use this. You take a picture of yourself, and like you can like add like a grid to it. You know what I mean? Make it look like a Polaroid picture, like change, the, make it filters and stuff like that. Then we have Canva. This is how I make like slideshows, PowerPoints. I used to make my thumbnails on Canva, but I found a new app to do that with. It's coming up soon, actually. But I use Canva for like graphics or like when I'm making my previous for my YouTube videos, like you know, like the different, like the, the frame and everything, I use Canva for that. But that's about it, to be honest. Me and Canva are locked in, my holy girl. I literally make everything on there. Next, we have Lens Buddy. If you're a girl and you need to take your pictures and you know your friends aren't gonna clear how they need to clear, respectfully, go ahead and buy that tripod on Amazon on Black Friday, like what's about to happen. Prop that phone up like this, set a timer, and the photos are gonna start clicking. All I gotta say, that right there is your best friend. If you know your friends can't clear, then we have Lit. If you wanna like edit your pictures, but to be honest, I don't really use this app, but I use it when like I'm taking thumbnail pictures and I know it's like, you know when all the four photos have to like match the same vibe? If it's not matching the vibe that I need it to do, I go in here, like change the filters of it but that's about it, and I don't really use the app that <laughs> I might need to delete it, not gonna lie. Then we have In Collage, oh my goodness, my favorite app. I make my thumbnail, like the actual thumbnail, like the basics, the photos, the blurring, everything on there, and then I move it to Fonto for the text. I used to use Canva for it, but In Collage just does what I need to do and does it quick. I don't have to sit here and wait for it to, we don't gotta wait for it to upload. And you know what I'm talking about on Canva. You know what I'm talking about. But that's it for editing. Next we got money, because if you're not getting your money, what are you doing? It's kind of like money shopping, all that. We have McDonald's, <sighs> yeah, I know. It may sound big, but if you're gonna sit there and spend your coin at these places, get the apps and get the rewards and then save those coins. You see what I'm saying? Get that money back, reward program, all I gotta say. Then we have Blaze Pizza. I literally love this app, but I don't eat there that much, because I just don't feel like going there. But their pizza do hit. It tastes like, what is it, brick oven pizza? I kind of named myself Bray on the app. It's because when I was younger, I was scared for people to know my name. And I made like a fake email address and everything and made a fake name for myself so people wouldn't get me. 
get me from what Adriana, let's be real. But now I have a fake name. So it's kind of like a little inside joke of myself, but whatever. Next we have Cash App. I just started using Cash App to be honest. And Starbucks. Ooh, me and Starbucks are locked and I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, Starbucks is tea. It may be overpriced for some small drinks and they do be ripping you off because why is the drink about right here and the ice makes it here? I don't know, but I'm gonna pay for it every time. Trust that. Okay, thank you. Next we have shop. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna open it because it's gonna show at, like my stuff, but shop is basically where you order all your packages and then you, co you come here and put the tracking information so you can track all your packages at one stop. This right here is so helpful when you are me and you order so much and you don't know what's coming. Then we have Amazon. I have Amazon problems. About, I remember when it was back to school season, every other day something from Amazon was coming. And they're two to three day with Prime. It's gonna do it every time. Ooh, I gotta run right. No. <laughs> Next we have Target. Man, Target is literally taking my money as we speak. I was just there like a week ago. It's just too good for my hygiene routine. Take my money. Then we have H&M. Not gonna lie, I don't really shop at H&M anymore because it's really a hit or miss. Like how you see how the app is kind of like have need to be updated or need to, is offloaded. It's like a hit or miss. Next we have Fetch Rewards. It's basically where you scan your receipts and once you scan all your receipts, you go to, um, you scan your receipts, you get points and you can like redeem gift cards and different like things or whatever. Next we have Auntie Ann Pretzels. Ooh, what you know, when you have a long shopping haul at the mall and you pass that pretzel place, not Pretzels Pretzels, no. Auntie Ann, you hit that like, mm, swipe that card. That's why you have the app. And when your birthday, y'all, I don't know if y'all knew, but you get a free pretzel. Save them coins, guys. Learn from the best. Then we have Sephora. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really shop at Sephora for makeup, but I do it for like skincare and stuff like that. I use this brand Inky List, if y'all know. Y'all do know, if y'all watch my videos, I always be talking about it. Inky List is my favorite product from there for like skincare and stuff like that. So I would order it from here or like an online order, definitely. Sheen. I'm not gonna, I'm trying to stop ordering from Sheen because it's like the clothes don't really last. But you know, if I have to do a little one, two moment, I will, trust. Oh, skims, skims. I love y'all, but why are we so expensive? I say this while proceeding to buy stuff, but it really is expensive. It kind of makes no sense. And the quality isn't even that good. This one, go to Lululemon, but then you're paying $200. I don't even wanna talk about it. Then we have social media. We have Snapchat. I don't really use Snapchat to be honest, but like I send like, what is it called? Like streaks to my brother and then one of my friends. You see my brother and I, we clear. We had 1,180. Tap in brother. You better not forget. Did you send your streak today? Mm, he didn't send his streak. I'm gonna have to send him a message. You getting texted later, love. But yeah, so I just send streaks on here to be honest. I don't use Snapchat. They're the only reason I go on Snapchat. Then we have TikTok. I don't know what account I'm logged into. This is the TikTok account y'all follow. It's Adriana.Aisha. This is my favorite. This is my holy girl. I have a main, I have a spam, main, spam, and a YouTube one, like where I promote my YouTube stuff. Go see your team. Next we have Instagram, my personal page. I literally love it. This is my birthday pictures. So tea. What period? I have to get off because I don't know what message is gonna pop up. I'm in too many group chats and they be texting crazy stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Then music. On the way to school and you have to, you're not in the mood and you listen to music, it's gonna bring you back. But I used this to like check, like mental health check. You just like write in there. It's like a kind of like a journal in a way. Love that app. Real team. Then we have school. Remind. Not gonna lie, my school doesn't use it, but like with the clubs I'm in and like I'm a board member, we have to like text the members and stuff like that so i use that big futures y'all know it's about that time i'm a junior y'all i'm a junior ain't nothing funny ain't nothing funny but you just use this app to like text not text to look at scholarships and stuff like that and like check stuff um your your scores for your sat your psat all that then we have teams we used to use that over covid y'all know if you were covid girlies in your middle school or high school y'all use teams and used to do all your meetings but some of my clubs use Teams, but I don't really use it that much low-key. 
all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for catching me in vlogmas. You see how I'm coming to do my biggest one 24-7.